One of the most important things to grab views on YouTube is your thumbnails. And one way that I was able to level up my thumbnails is by drawing a line around myself and letting myself pop out in the thumbnails so it's eye-catching and it makes you click. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can draw that line around yourself in editing tools to help you pop. Now to get started, I use Coral Paint Shop Pro, but you can do this in any tool, very similar fashion. Now we are trying to achieve this outline here, this kind of white line around me here. What you need to do is start with an image, for example, this one here. You need to remove the background behind it. You can either do it manually, or I use a website called remove.bg. There's a video that's now showing in the iCard on how to do it, but it's as simple as dragging and dropping into remove BG, and it will remove the background for me, and then I click download. I will now drag this backgroundless image into my photo editing software. You'll now see that the background has been removed. Now I want to add that line. So I click on the image on the right hand side and click duplicate. We're going to do all the work on the duplicate image that is now underneath. I click there, click selection, select all, go back again, select float, and then once more select modify, expand, and I have it always set to five. Now, obviously the bigger the number, the bigger the border. So I click okay. Now what you'll see very carefully is there's a very thin line around my main image. So I'm now going to do is get the paintbrush, choose the color that I want to outline it in. So let's say in this case, we want to use yellow just because it's going to show out much better. And then I choose the size of paintbrush. So it's going to be 500. And then I start painting. What it's doing is coloring the image underneath. So if I hide the top image, what you'll actually see is I've colored in the background image. I've actually colored the duplicate that was underneath. There you go. I'll show you here that it, I, I had cut out a little bit here. I colored that now. I overlay the image back on top. And because I've made it a little bit wider, it now has a yellow line around it. Now this could be red. It could be purple. It could be any color that you want. Now, what I suggest is that you merge them together by selecting them together, holding down shift and clicking merge, merge selected. Obviously in different software programs, it would look differently. And then I drag that image over to the background where I want it to be, bonk it on top, reposition how large I want it. And now I have me here outlined in white, me here outlined in purple. Now you can do this with anything. It doesn't just have to be me. I do it with all of the objects that I overlay on my thumbnail. So there's an arrow, there's a download icon, a YouTube button, a monetization icon, a giant green tick, a download icon, anything you can remove the background on, you can do this trick with. Now, if you need thumbnail tips, there's a video here. Go and check that out. Or subscribe, and very soon I'll be showing you how to create your very own YouTube template.